Hello, my name is Adam Phillips and this is a brief introduction to particle effects in Toon Boom Harmony. Harmony's particle system is capable of generating a broad range of effects. At its core, each particle system consists of tiny dots. You'll replace these dots with your own drawings or animation, called sprites. In the module library, there's a whole tab dedicated to particle examples. This is particularly useful for beginners. You can drag an example into your network, plug it in, watch how it plays, then go inside and see how it works and make your own changes. To start, let's look at the basic gravity-based example. From the module library, the particle examples tab, I'm dragging basic gravity-based into the network. Right away, this particle system appears in the camera view and we can scrub or play the timeline to watch the effect. If you render one of these frames, you'll see that the generic particles are extremely small. These are just placeholder dots, which we'll eventually replace with our own artwork. Going inside the gravity-based example group, we have a number of purple modules called actions. We use these to assign specific behaviors to each particle. For example, how many particles we want to emit on each frame, how fast they move and in which direction, and many more. The sprite emitter is responsible for creating particles. It has two inputs. The right-hand port is the region from which the particles are emitted. This can be a 3D region or a planar region. And the left-hand port is for your own drawing to replace the dot. Right now there's a drawing layer plugged in here, but there are no drawings on it. The basic gravity-based example already looks like it might be water coming from a shower head, so let's replace those dots with droplets of water. On the first frame of the emitter's drawing layer, I'll draw a round water droplet. In the emitter's layer properties, I need to go to the rendering tab. Sprite selection is currently rendering as dots, so I'll change that to use particle type. This tells the particle system to always use the first frame of the sprite layer as seen over here on the Generation tab. Now in the camera view we have water droplets being emitted. In this example the emitter is always on. This is controlled by the trigger value. 0 is off and 1 is on. You can keyframe the various triggers throughout your particle system for different effects. For example in a scene that has sparks struck from a flint, you can quickly turn an emitter on and then off. Incidentally the sparks here bounce on the ground. This is done with a plane region attached to a bounce action module. There are countless complex 2D animation tasks made easier with particle systems. Using your own hand-drawn sprites, you can achieve some incredible effects, whatever the style of your project.